As soon as the canister is installed in the cradle, the painter should be attached to the vessel structure and should remain attached whenever the vessel is at sea. The painter to vessel connection includes a weak link designed to break during a float free launch. Try to launch the raft before the emergency reaches the crisis stage. Many vessels stow the raft on the housetop or in some other out of the way location where it doesn't interfere with normal operations. When it's time to abandon ship, however, it's preferable to launch and board the raft from the lowest point above the water. You need to strike the best available compromise on your boat between what's convenient in terms of stowage and what is workable when it's time to launch the life raft. It may be extremely difficult to reach the stowage area and launch the raft manually in heavy seas. If your raft is stowed atop the house or in some other hard to reach location, consider installing tow rails or non-skid around the cradle to provide better footing and devise a means of lowering the raft to the deck during a controlled abandonment. Before launching the raft manually, change the painter to vessel connection so the full strength of the painter line takes the place of the weak link. Pull out a few feet of painter line from the canister and belay it to the cleat located on the raft cradle or some other nearby strong point. In most cases, the raft should be launched over the lee side or the wind will pin it to the vessel and create the potential of damage to the fabric. The presence of hazards like smoke or debris may alter this rule. Pulling the painter out to its full length activates the inflation. The painter on a Coast Guard approved raft is a minimum of 100 feet long. Wait for full inflation with the canopy erect before boarding. Your raft will probably overinflate, and you'll hear the sound of air escaping through the pressure relief valve. This doesn't mean that the raft is defective. The sound should cease quickly. If you can, Board the raft directly without getting wet. Staying dry is the first rule of survival in cold water. If the distance is short, step or jump directly into the canopy entrance. You may be able to use a ladder, net, or line to get yourself close enough to the canopy entrance to board directly. Raft canopies are designed to withstand the impact of people jumping on them from a height of 15 feet. But only attempt to jump onto the canopy as a last resort. If the height is more than a few feet, Jumping onto the canopy may cause injury to...